right click on the row of field names and choose custom click on fields and then click on new field type in a name for your new field and select the yes or no type we'll leave it set at format for icon click OK click on other settings and enable in cell editing when you return to Outlook you'll need to close or resize the reading pane so you can see the field and click in the field to enable the check mark you can use this field in custom views right click again on the row of field names and choose customize view then click on automatic formatting and add a new formatting rule in this rule we're going to call it replied to equals yes select a color that it's going to be highlighted in and click OK and then set up your condition switch to the advanced tab and under user defined fields choose your new replied to field choose replied to equals yes and add that to your filter return to Outlook and we'll see that everything that is marked with a checkbox is green we can also create a view that hides all of the items that are not marked go back to the filter and advanced tab and we want to use replied to equals no we'll also need to add the replied to field a second time and choose that it does not exist click add this to the filter click OK and return to Outlook and you'll only see the items that are not checked